It is six o'clock in the morning and today is vlog number one here on the Herb Records Patreon. Quite excited. I'm currently in the kitchen making a paleo breakfast for myself. And what does that normally mean? Uh, sausages, bacon, sometimes burgers, like just one burger uh, with a little bit of salad and also avocado, um, things like that. So today, uh, there's a deer stuck in my garden. What the fuck? It's massive. Uh, need to sort that in a sec. Today we're going to do um, some bass guitar -y stuff. What's it doing? It's fucking losing its shit. Where is it? There it is. Oi, 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 oi! Oi! I do apologise. <laughs> what the fuck? I will sort him out in a second, or maybe even her. So, um,. Today we're going to be looking at some bass guitar stuff. We have a um, Christmas uh, live performance that we're going to be doing here at Earth uh, that I need to start coming up with parts for. Now what does that mean? It means we're going to be going over some old songs, some slightly deeper cuts for this live thing that we haven't touched for a long time, or I haven't touched for a long time. just wanted to dust them off and play them again because they were cool songs and that was it. So I'm going to relearn them as they are on the records, but the other parts, basically what I end up doing is I make videos teaching new parts to the performers who are going to play them. So Johnny, um, Amora, Steve, if there's anything like that I need to do, I might have a listen through and just have a tinker around the guitar, see if I can come up with anything. It's just different from the original, just to add a little bit of... Um, interest to the event and to make it uh, I'm not adding like sleigh bells it's not going to be like a Christmas event like that it's just going to be hosted around the time of Christmas so it's going to be some quiet one songs hopefully some precious songs if I can get Mel back here we're in talks for that um, uh, some Amora songs that'd be cool maybe a two down song or two get Callum down and just have a nice little event that we'll do here um, Obviously, we live streamed at the time. We'll go into that in more detail, but it's going to be the 12th, 13th, and 14th of November, I believe, is when we're going to be filming it. And then um, we'll have to wait and see after that um, when it will come out. But uh, there'll be a live stream of it regardless, so you guys will see it regardless. But maybe we'll get some of you down in physical. That would be really cool. Um, that would be really cool. But if you came to the Z Live event, it's going to be a bit like that. So there will be an actual performance. But I think what we're going to try and do is get really good versions of each of those songs live. So we may play each song a few times and kind of pick the best one. Because um, that happens, you know. Um, sometimes you're just not feeling that song when you're playing it live. Sometimes you're not working together as a band. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll sort that out anyway. I'm rambling, I'm going to continue to well, start cooking my breakfast, I can show you that if you want. And we will go from there. I'm going to sort this fucking deer out first actually, that's what I'm going to do first, so let's go and do that now. Now there are many problems with where I live, but the main concern I have is the deer really don't have a fucking clue how to get out of this place once they're in it. Because there's basically just these two massive gates. and. Um, Deer aren't very nimble when it comes to unlocking things. So, um, I'm, yeah, there, I've just seen it again. Okay, it's. Wait a second, let's get this sorted. Because if you can come up here, you can get out here. Alright, let's get this fucking thing open. There we are. Now he's got a place to escape to. So, beautiful, because otherwise you can't get out. I think what was happening is that he came in must have got so we're building studio c here now um, which i can show you a little bit of in a minute but i think what happened is he must have come in up here somewhere and got stuck in some way um but uh he's safe now so well he will be once he finds that there is an escape route that i've kindly gifted free of charge or, to him well we'll see but um Anyway, the gate's open now, so he can just fucking get out of the shit. So I thought while I had a moment of your time, I'd just explain kind of what's going on behind the scenes here at her at the moment. So we have a few albums on, the main one being the Call of Duty Zombies record. Um, we have other things on as well, uh, but that's kind of the main 
cumulative project at the moment and um and it's going well going really well so we've done all the drums all of the what i would call the lead guitars although i'm not sure he's ever played a lead part i think actually i think there's a couple of solos in there but um but they're basically the both sets of guitars mine and johnny's are both rhythm but um yeah he's done all of his parts i've got my bass to come we've got all the percussion done so i've basically what's going to happen now is vocals my bass my guitars which are all new so basically if you think of the call of duty zombies record as johnny from that band heck did essentially re remade the original guitar parts um and kept them virtually the same. He improved them here and there, like little parts of them have been tweaked to make them better and more interesting. But essentially they're the same um, as the originals. So when you come to hear this record, you will distinctly hear, if you know the original songs, you will hear what is the same from those songs and what has been newly, um, newly added and all those new parts anything that you hear that doesn't exist on the original records that's me playing what i do so um so there's a kind of two juxtaposed sets of guitars constantly playing and most of my stuff isn't particularly heavy a lot of it's kind of clean tones over slightly overdriven tones things like that and um generally a quite a quite an interesting um mix of stuff and i have the luxury that treyarch don't have of creating this as an album so I can add little nuanced melodies or counterpoints that relate to future songs in the record or my own songs in Zed. I have the ability to see this as an album, which they've never done before. Why they've never done this before? No idea. Seems dumb to me. I mean, they have an awful lot of money that they spunk on things that don't matter at all. But, you know, serving the fans in this way could have been something that they could have initiated, not me. Um, but anyway... I might go into that. So yeah, today we're going to have a look through where we're at with that record. I'm going to find the next song that I'm going to attack probably by bass first. Not quite sure. Maybe by guitar. But normally what I do in the mornings is breakfast. Now we have a meeting. I have a phone call with a guy called Ches, who is um, from a remote um, customer service team that we pay for every week. He's great. He's been with us for like five years. And um I've only met him twice, but he does all of the return stuff for her. If there's any issues with delivery, anything like that, he does it. And so every morning I have a quick call with him just to make sure nothing's fucked up. Um, and very rarely does anything fuck up. I mean, it's quite streamlined now. Um, then we have a staff call, which I'm already late for, 21 minutes late for. So I'm gonna get in there and get into this staff call and that's uh, Almora. And Ryan on this end, and then when it comes down there, I will call Steve and maybe a few other people and just to see what's going on on their end. Um, and in that call, we just talk about various things. I think the highlight of the day today is going to be talking about the 12 days of Christmas, which we may let you into that little conversation. So we are good to go. And she has to literally hide her pumpkins because this one family will walk around who's very Christian. And oh, shut the fuck her. up. No. No. Huh? No way. What? Yes! Yes! So we have a parcel to open today. In fact, we have three parcels to open today. But um, This one appears to be made of fucking Kevlar. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. Right. I don't know what it is. It could be a preamp. I'm in talks with a company 
about making my own preamp, basically using uh, very specific valves. Uh, it could be a vintage D30 microphone, which I have three of, but I want a fourth one because often we use them for uh, drums. And uh, they're, very, they're very hard to find D30 microphones. There's a very common microphone called an AKG D12 and D112. They're very common, they're all over the place. And they're good for like kick microphones, but they're not the best. They have a very limited range of where they sound good, and which is basically in the kick range. But if you want to use them for like toms, the D30 has this just, it sounds like a D12, but just enormous. Like the entire mic capsule is enormous. I love them. And uh, it's a bit of an eBay jobby, so I don't normally like that. I normally like to buy, um, what is this fucking thing? Um, re, what do they call it? Um, uh, restored, I can't think of the word, but um, yeah, anyway, I don't, I, like, I don't normally like like eBay stuff. There's a good site called Reverb, which, um, I do use every now and then, but uh, I try not to use it too much because it uses up a lot of the uh, my income. <laughs> not to use it too much. Jesus Christ! Fuck Tithis, the Riddler. You want me to die doing this? We may fast forward this in some way. We're getting there. Oh, I know what it is. Don't worry. It wasn't either of the things I thought it was. I totally forgot about this. There you go. So this, uh, Johnny, Johnny, who I work with, is working with a band called Cradle of Filth, who are, uh, uh, I won't go into detail about what I think about Cradle of Filth. Let's just say in the nicest terms, they are a band. Um, and their guitarists like tour and they're trying their hardest to get supported by these people who make this thing called Neural, the Neural Quad Cortex. And so Johnny was like, do you want me to get one? I was like, yeah, get us both ones. So I bought Johnny one, I bought me one because they're quite hard to get hold of apparently. So, um, but I think the idea of this, what I like about it, I use this thing called the Kemper a lot. So if I spend a long time getting a guitar amp tone really good, uh, sometimes you want to save that. And so I do this thing called Kemper profiling. So you put some mics in front of the guitar, or have the mics how you had it. And then basically you run this weird signal through the, this is very layman's terms for you, but you run this weird signal through the guitar amp and you're basically able to capture the sound of that guitar amp in that room with those pedals, with those microphones. And you've got that forever. And sometimes that's quite useful. Zed Live use some of it for some of the clean parts because I have a vintage AC30 in Studio A, which is the shit for, I use it for everything. It's been on quiet one, it's been on various things over the years. Basically all my clean tones ever are done through that. And I've never found a vintage 30, um, I've never, <laughs> I've never, found an AC30 that sounds like it. So it's nice to be able to capture it and use it later. I think this does the same thing. So it's just, it's not rack mounted, it's smaller. Um, and it comes in a box. That's it, let's get you, where are you, come here.
and so this is it. This is it. This is the quad cortex. So um, it's got a screen and 11 buttons and a knob. Brilliant. Uh, I may never use this. Like genuinely, seriously, I, I may never use this because I'm quite anal about... Um, uh, what, no, not quite anal. I love coming up with guitar amp sounds. Like, I'm a guitarist. This is what I do. I love it. And I spend, as you will see during these vlogs, a lot of time making sure my guitar amp sound is the shit and better than everyone else's guitar amp sound on the record. Uh, sorry, Johnny, but that's just, you know. Um, so uh, I like to do it. That's my favorite, not my favorite part, but it's one of my favorite parts of a album making process as a guitarist is to do that. So capturing them, although it's handy, because if we ever want to play them live again, you literally have the exact sound of what you did. So I will always capture them and I will do it with this potentially. But uh, I like doing it. I like setting up a guitar amp. I like fiddling with shit on pedals. That's the fun, being a bit experimental as we will see later. But yeah, so that's what that was today. It was a uh, quad cortex. So uh, I don't know what else to say about it because I mean, it exists and that's about as far as I know. So, um, but maybe we'll, maybe, maybe we'll experiment with it. Maybe that'll be a video experimenting with the quad cortex. What can Ben Down do with a quad cortex? I want it to have the game Snake on it. It's got a big screen. I think it could handle Snake nicely. I miss my Nokia. The good old days. Before, before people started sending me Emojis and emote icons. It's a good time. If you're waiting for a nude from a girl, it would take like 10 minutes to download. Oh well. Better just kill myself. <laughs>